get the whole story. Welcome back. Thank you for staying with News Center. We continue bringing you up to speed with the latest news making headlines from across the country. Our reporters are definitely following up on key stories and staying on the political beat. A lot of eyes will be focused on Kasarani Stadium tomorrow where at least 30 governors and over half of members of parliament have reportedly confirmed attendance to tomorrow's Azimio La Umoja convention that is said to give the way forward in terms of Raila Odinga's presidency bid come 2022. Our very own Emmanuel Toh, as hinted earlier, is coming to us live from Kasarani just to bring us up to speed with the preparations that are ongoing so far. To a very good morning to you as we spoke earlier, but what's the latest at Kasarani? What is going on currently in terms of the preparations and are the leaders already there? Because we expected a press briefing at around 11 a.m. according to you. Well, Jesse, we're just about uh, 20 minutes to that uh, press conference uh, by the leaders or the committee that was tasked to arrange or organize this meeting, and we are going to give you that update. But right now, as you can see, the stage is set quite literally behind me. That is a, a stage that will be used tomorrow by the dignitaries and those who will be speaking at the Azimio Laumoja meeting, a national event that will be graced by several dignitaries uh, coming from Kenya and abroad. And of course, a lot of Activities are happening here. Some seats have already been marked. Uh, if my colleague Mwenda can just show you, there are some, ten, there are some seats that have been labeled. Uh, there, are, there are banners out there, Baba the Fifth, as well as uh, just messages to uh, show what we are going to have uh, tomorrow. And of course, uh, some of the delegates have already started streaming in, some of the volunteers that uh, have already come in to just make sure that uh, this day goes as planned. And uh, we expect that uh, perhaps uh, later on uh, some will be coming in because the gates are already already open uh, for any other member of, of, of the public who would like to attend. And of course, uh, this is a very momentous moment for Raila Odinga, who is uh, 76 years old. He has tried this thing about uh, four times now, 97, uh, 2007, 2013, and 2017, and then successfully so. And we expect that uh, perhaps tomorrow he's going to launch another bid, as they've already, they, as uh, it has already been reported before uh, that. Uh, we expect that he'll be making his uh, uh, announcement that he's going to uh, make that fifth stab at the presidency. And there are some of the members of uh, public who are, or uh, key figures who are going to participate in this event. And uh, let me just engage uh, someone who is popular. Uh, many of them know him, Ben Gidai. Uh, the hit uh, song uh, uh, writer or a singer who uh, goes by the song Baba Tosha. He came up with another song. Maybe Ben Gidai, Twanze to Kwanza Utuambi, Utuambi Kwanza Yo Pat, yeah, Baba Tosha, Benyu Badlisha Wimbo. Turukwa tunasema, Dani, 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 to the state house, Mulima Yote, Baba Tosha. What happened? Uh, I have been in the music for the last 20 years and uh, we have been struggling because of what we call skiza revenue share and we were crying to Uhuru Kenyatta I was uh, with my brother Sir James who, are he who was here and we wrote a memorandum and uh, our president told us nitatuma raira akuje askize muonge na ye and uh, when we approached Raira, it is very, 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 very good to say that he's a very good man. He listened to us, he read the memorandum, and uh, from there, we got the share that we wanted. Okay. And uh, all artists are enjoying now. And that is when I made a decision that I will support Raira. Okay, okay. And that is when I decided to go to Mount Kenya and tell my people, this is the man. I was bold enough. We convinced uh, SK Machari chairman that we have to take 
Raira to Mount Kenya to celebrate Skiza revenue share and the tariffs had been increased. We were the first people to take him and we are going with him to the end. So to Nasema Baba Tosha Mbaka size. Okay, may, th may, thank you, uh, Ben. Maybe lastly, mm -hmm. uh, how many artists do we expect to see tomorrow perform? Very, very briefly. Well, we have different and many artists from different parts of the country. From course, they are here. Uh, you can see Majimaji is with me, and Sir James is with me, me, Tabu is with me, and we are reaching for them to perform from Asailad, from Kikuyurad, from Lulad, from Kisilad. They are all here and they are represented. Thank you, thank you uh, so much. All regional represented. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. That has been Ben Gidai, one of the artists in Kenya who came up with a hit song, Baba Tosha, recently. And let me just engage the, some of the organizers here. Perhaps, how is the arrangement going to be tomorrow here at the stadium? Okay, first of all, my name is Majimaji. I'm part of the organizing team. So far, we are about 90%, uh, I would say. And we're looking forward to about 2 to 3 p.m. to be at about 100. The sound is already set. The volunteers have been spoken to. Security has been looked at. Branding is almost done. And uh, generally, we hope that by 3 p.m., we should be looking at 100% readiness. Now, the board has been here. I've also seen uh, the governor. Or Paranya, yeah, to see and to check that everything will be in order. Okay. And, uh, I've seen some of the members of the public around here. Are they the delegates or are they what? They, are, they're still they're coming in so early. No, 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 no. We understand people are excited, but these are not uh, members of the public per se. They are part of the volunteers who have come to volunteer to see that this event is properly done in terms of security, hospitality, in terms of just directing dignitaries, in terms of our arrangement, because there's, every sector has its own place. There's VVVIP, there's VIP, right. there's space for PWDs. So there are a lot of volunteers that will be taking care of each. Thank you. Each, 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 each category. Thank you. Let me now engage one of the members who, who was just here. Uh, perhaps, uh, what's your message uh, to those who are organizing this event tomorrow? Uh, it has been a, a, a good day for us, a very good day for our Excellency, the, the Prime Minister. And I hope even, even, even the, the government itself can, can make this day to be a national holiday, if it was possible. Okay. Because it's, it's a good day. Okay. It's a good day. All right. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much. Well, uh, Jesse, those are pa some of those who have already come in here at the Kasarani Sports Center. They are calling for the president to make tomorrow a national holiday uh, to celebrate the Azimiolo Umoja. But uh, that is subject to conversation and, and discussion uh, on other quarters. But as you can hear right now, those are uh, some of the organizers trying to check the sound, checking the system to make sure that everything is well and okay ahead of that. A major announcement by the, 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 the audience leader, Raila Odinga, who was endorsed yesterday by the Mount Kenya Foundation, who is also going to be here tomorrow. We've seen some of the dignitaries from far and wide coming in. Yesterday we saw uh, some of the former presidents uh, coming in, and we expect that uh, from the list that we've been given, uh, that some members, uh, very senior people in the government, as well as outside the country, will be coming in. And uh, we hope that, that we'll be giving you more updates to this. But uh, critically, this is going to be a very important day for Raila Odinga, who has, uh, in a way, carved a niche for himself by that handshake with the president, uh, Huru Kenyatta, in 2018, that has propelled him to this point right now. And uh, the members uh, have already mentioned that uh, they're going to support his bid. So, Jesse, we have a lot of activities here, and we'll be giving our viewers an update of what will be happening. And those are live pictures, uh, people uh, just uh, setting up for this event. Jesse. Okay, many thanks, Emmanuel Tour, a truly interactive, just talking to some of the performers we'll be expecting tomorrow, and as he's mentioned, they'll represent the face of Kenya. Preparations are almost 90% complete, and we'll definitely keep you updated back at home in terms of any updates as we wait for that Azimio Laumoja National Convention that is said to be held at the Kasarani Stadium. As you've just seen, the stage is set, and definitely our camera lenses are focused on bringing you up to speed with the latest on that particular political beat. But away from the country, let's cross over to Tanzania right now. As hinted earlier, Uhuru Kenyatta president is set to hold a headline, rather, Tanzania's 60th Uhuru Day celebrations, which is being celebrated just today at the Uhuru Stadium in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. The president just